Hey everyone, Sivan here from House. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new project for our design solution. All you're going to do is simply click into the projects tab right over here below manage and you'll simply need to create a new project by clicking on the create new project button. Here you'll be able to enter all of your clients details and set up your project for success. So first and foremost, you can select a client from your client drop-down menu, or you can add a new client if the client does not yet exist in your clients list. In this case, I'm simply going to select one of my clients over here, enter your project's name, and a project code. This will appear on all of your documents, making it easy for you to identify which document belongs to which project at a glance. Next, you can enter a budget, and select a sales tax rate if you wish to. This sales tax will appear on all of your documents going forward. The project owner defaults to that who is logged in to your account. However, you can always override it and make it one of your team members if necessary. Next, you'll want to upload a project cover photo. This will appear on your client dashboard, making it a really visual piece of your presentation for your client. And you can always add the scope of the project to your notes over here. Next, you'll wanna enter your rooms that you'll be working on. So in this case, this is just Benjamin's room. So I'm simply going to tag this as bedroom. But of course, you can add all of the different rooms that you'll be working on throughout the course of this project, like bathroom, master bathroom, etc. Next, you'll want to go ahead and select your project address. So by default, this shows the project address that is associated with my client. However, you can always add a different shipping address if you wish to add a default uh, receiving warehouse or something like that. All you need to do is click add an address and then you can choose from your address book and set it as your default shipping address. Last but not least, if there are any additional settings that you wish to set for this project, you can do so by clicking on additional settings. This will open up a drop down menu over here with all of the additional items. So if you wish to customize your project memos specifically for this project, you can do so over here, as well as your default project emails. Last but not least, you can also define your account billing settings. So if you wish to allow this project to pay by credit card or ACH, and if you wish to offset the transaction fee, you can make those default settings for the project right over here. Once again, credit card has a 3% credit card fee, ACH has a 1.2% fee. Okay, all you need to do that is click save and dive right into the project. Go ahead and give it a try for yourself. Be sure to check out our other tutorials to learn all about the great project management tools HousePro has to offer. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. We're always happy to help.